welcome back to Oblivity Channel. It's almost midnight. I'm ready to go to Byron Bay. Why I'm talking like this, I don't know. Because I'm afraid. Ciao guys, I'm here directly from the ocean, you can see my boat, no I'm joking, we are in Camp C, so we drove 400 kilometers from Sydney, so now there are 400 kilometers more before we get to Byron Bay, probably we slept 3 hours, <laughs> see you in Byron Bay. Okay, finally, dopo only 12 hours traveling, we arrived in Byron Bay in our accommodation. So this is our room, guys. Our cell. Uh, our room. It's uh, like uh, three meters <laughs> by three meters, like Alcatraz. We gotta do some cleaning. Disgusting. The fan is uh, filthy. It's very hot here. We're staying at um, Aquarius Backpackers here in Byron Bay. We paid $400 each for um, five nights, but considering the time of the year, it's good. But we gotta do some cleaning first. It's not bad, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, guys, Byron Bay, it's beautiful. It's so busy, a lot of people. Everyone is here for the New Year's Eve. We took a short walk around the town. It's beautiful. A lot of shops, restaurants, bars, a lot of people. So I think we're gonna have a good time. This is the, the front beach, main beach in Byron Bay. There are a lot of people uh, sleeping in their van or car because uh, accommodation at this time of the year is very expensive. Honestly, although there are uh, COVID-19 restrictions in place, but no one is uh, following and there is no much uh, control, there is, I haven't noticed police around, uh, rangers, you know, police officers, no one is checking, no one is checking in, no one, anybody. And people uh, can drink outside in the street, at the beach, very freedom place. Welcome back to Byron Bay. Today is second day. I'm here in uh, Watergos, Watergos Beach. Beautiful weather today compared to yesterday. Yesterday was uh, raining all day, but today it's sunny and warm. day of the year of this uh, unprecedented year 2020 how much is going on this year for everybody hopefully next year will be better <laughs> hey, yeah. 
Okay, nice. I think we're gonna spend uh, the day here. And then we have no plans for tonight, as always. See you. I'm going to take a minute to see that Good morning guys <laughs> Welcome back to uh, Grand Canyon <laughs> I'm joking, welcome back to Byron Bay, we are going to White Beach So if you come to uh, White Beach, make sure to come early because it's uh, impossible to find a parking if you get here as we did at midday. So now we are trying uh, desperately, <laughs> I don't know if you can see Giovanni, to park just in front of White Beach access here in Byron Bay. It's a beautiful day today. Probably there are 28 degrees, but because of the humidity, it feels more. And uh, now it's time to parking, and then we go and uh, check the beach out. Should have come earlier. This is what I was talking about. So where is the access here? <laughs> okay, last few steps. Welcome to White Beach. Do you think it was worth coming here? I think so. I'll see you later, my friends. Ciao. Ciao, guys. And uh, welcome back uh, to Oblivity Channel. So here is my new accommodation. So here I am in Wollongba, where our uh, new location, our new accommodation is. I got some uh, drinks, a box of beers, some chips. And this is the tavern pub where we're gonna have dinner. So our accommodation takes half an hour from Byron Bay, and it's a little bit inland in the countryside. It's a beautiful uh, location. Here we're paying six, $600 for four nights. $300 each. Okay, I'm gonna show you the our uh, room. So guys, this is my room. Definitely better <laughs> than we were before. I found this accommodation on booking.com and called direct to the property to arrange the price and uh, uh, we're paying $150 per night which is $75 each the room is uh, very good, there is aircon, mini bar, TV, small garden with table outside and uh, there is a laundry service and the staff is uh, friendly, they are good people All right, today, January 3rd, 2020, 
we're gonna see, we're gonna view Killian Falls here in New South Wales. So here, this is the entry, the main access of Killian Falls here in New South Wales. This place, it takes like 30 minutes driving from Byron Bay. Let's have a look. All I ever wanted. Welcome to Killen Waterfalls, New South Wales. Okay, I'm going down the waterfalls because I wanna swim in the river. Uh, there is access so you can go up from here. As always I wear comfortable shoes. Oh Guys, be careful when you go down. This is a path. Quite dangerous. Here we are. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, I saw you yesterday, white uh, bridge. Did you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how are you? Good, thank you. How are you? Good. Yeah. You coming back? <laughs> nice, it takes a while to get there, but it's worth going. Please wear comfortable shoes. Now with flip flops. Hello? Hi. She's tired? Very <laughs> dangerous. <laughs> wow. I can't wait to jump in the water. Beautiful, isn't it? In Tallow Beach, it's uh, unbelievably busy. Uh, we've been waiting for half an hour to find a parking spot. Okay, we found the uh, parking. As always, we haven't paid the tickets. <laughs> Welcome to Tallow Beach. Environment. I'm similar. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Nice catch. Alright, today we're going to Nimbin because the weather is a, a little bit unpleasant. <laughs> this is how to change a tire if you break down. <laughs> so, guys, if you have a chance to go to Wine, wine, waterfalls. Be careful when you drive, if you drive. Because uh, the road is full of holes, like this. My friend just broke his tire. Okay, finally, finally we got to wine, wine, waterfalls. Um, let's have a look. It's uh, pretty hard to find parking. 
because there are no parking, so you gotta park along the road. See you there. All right, guys, I'm just here, right before the entrance in uh, Wine Wine Falls. Let's have a look. They say it's a beautiful place. All right, this is the path that will take you to the waterfalls. Wine Wine Waterfalls here in New South Wales. Let's have a look. Guys, my recommendation is, uh, first of all, if you come here and you drive, be careful. Because the roads are full of holes. My friend Alex has just broken his tire. It's gonna cost him 350 bucks to replace it. And then, always ask locals uh, about, you know, places to see. Because I found out this place asking uh, my motel manager where we stay. So, remember that. Alright, like Indiana Jones. Alright, we took the wrong uh, path, the wrong way. So now we're gonna go, we're gonna get down there. Watch where you step. It's raining too. Watch where you step because it's very slippery. It's raining too. But who cares? Do you think it was worth it? I think so. Who cares? Who cares? So we just arrived in Nimbin. Nimbin is the city town in New South Wales. In the middle of the mountains, in the middle of nowhere. Let's have a look. So, according to Wikipedia, Nimbin is a village in the Northern Rivers area of the Australian state of uh, New South Wales, approximately 30 kilometers north of Lismore, 33 kilometers northeast of uh, Kyogli, and 17 kilometers west of Byron Bay. Nimbin is notable for the prominence of its environmental initiatives such as permaculture, sustainability and self-sufficiency, as well as the cannabis counterculture. Nimbin has been described in, lit in literature and the mainstream media as the drug capital of Australia, a social experiment and the escapist subculture. Nimbin has become an icon in Australian culture history with many of the values first introduced there by the counterculture becoming part of modern Australian culture.
I've never seen a town like this in Australia before in my life. Even the people. It's something really, really unique. Morning, morning guys. Welcome to Torakina Beach. Here in Bayrou Bay. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at this new place. So in this beach, no dogs are allowed. Otherwise the penalty is applied. This is uh, Torakina Beach. It's a beautiful day today. Probably is our last day of uh, my vacation here in Byron Bay area. It's been a beautiful holiday, honestly. I wasn't expecting about what, uh, everything I experienced so far. We might extend our vacation because uh, I have uh, that feeling of uh, stay more. Uh, this is the reason I want to stay, I want to stay more. Uh, yeah, because uh, in Sydney they put more restrictions in place, uh, such as uh, uh, people have to wear a mask almost everywhere, anytime, otherwise they get fined, I think $200 fine. They don't wear masks in certain indoor places. So we might stay here more. So this is uh, my last day, my last sunset here in Byron Bay. Um, now, right now, I'm in uh, White Beach with this rainbow on the top of this uh, beautiful ocean. Include my vacation, my travel experience here in Byron Bay in New South Wales, Australia. Today, uh, January 4, 2021. I really had a great time. I wasn't expecting uh, New South Wales. It was uh, so beautiful, I had so much fun, uh, I met a lot of people, I had a great experience, so I really recommend you guys, if you come to Australia to visit uh, New South Wales, to visit Byron Bay, and all the places I've been in this fantastic journey. I hope you guys enjoyed my videos and uh, see you in my next adventure. Ciao!